morning all. <clears throat> Sorry it's freezing cold in here um, so we won't have a homily and I'll try to get us out a little quicker. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Spirit. We pause to ask God's mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat down before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house? that you have brought me to this point. Yet even this you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people, Israel as yours forever. And you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house and do as you have promised your name will be forever great when men say the lord of hosts is god of israel and the house of your servant david stands firm before you it is you lord of hosts god of israel who said in a revelation to your servant i will build a house for you <coughs> therefore your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you and now, Lord God, you are God of the words and truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord, Lord God, God has given him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord, Lord God, God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling of the mighty one for Jacob. The, the Lord, Lord God will give, give him the throne of David his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The, the Lord, Lord God will give, give him the throne of David, David his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not in the place on the lampstand, and for there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, 
Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Lifting our hearts together, asking the Lord to help our light to shine, we pray for the church. May God grant her wisdom in the mission of sharing the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the world, may God reveal his love and mercy to all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, most especially for Faye Legowski, remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for what else shall we pray? For the Ukraine, that everything will turn out okay and that the war won't happen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> Loving Father, look favorably upon the prayers we offer to you today, for we ask them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed Blessed be God. God. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Jesus the Lord. And so in company with the angels and saints, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom the, power, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign yes. of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, all. Keep warm.